Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's challenge video. What we're going to be doing this week is I'm going to do the ballpoint pen challenge. So essentially with this challenge you have to draw straight onto the piece of paper using only a ballpoint pen. Now I've got three on me, I am using a red to do my sketch, my blue to I am like really concentrate on my lines and then the black if I want to deepen my shadings. This is not cheating because I'm not using a pencil, I am only using a ballpoint pen. Now the only main basis of the rule is you can't have a sketch at all. So there's my red, there's my blue and there's my black. And as you can see on the paper, there is absolutely no uh, marks. And I'm just showing you that I do have extra pens with me um, in case these ones run out. And you can see no sketch on the paper. It is completely clean and completely white. So I uh, can't wait to start this challenge because I actually do love using ballpoint pen. And I hope you guys like the video too. And we'll see you very shortly. Let's get this started. So you can see it's now starting to be sped up and uh, in the beginning I just wanted to explain a bit more about the challenge and the do's and don'ts. So with this I've had a little practice in my sketchbook just to get an idea of what I was looking for and this um, whole piece ended up a lot darker than I was expecting. Um, I think it's just because with ballpoint pens like the good thing is is you can like um, very lightly start with the pen and just like loosely um, build up your image and then press harder to be able to get a nice darker image and this is really really good if you want like really loose practice sketches and I highly recommend anyone to try it out because it's very good practice with your work um, the reason why I practiced beforehand with the colours is just to make sure that they didn't blend too hard that nothing was going to cause me any issues and and such so yeah, as you can see I am just building up my image and if you like start with your light color and build up it actually just create this really beautiful effect and you can use both the colors um, for my uh, my example I use mainly my blue and my uh, red in this instance I didn't really use the black as much apart from just to really deepen certain areas um, it created this really nice purple and I was originally before I started this challenge I was on the hunt for coloured ballpoint pens and unfortunately I just couldn't find them anywhere and I was really gutted about that because I just really wanted to try out like a really colourful really bright image and it just turned out really gothic and it's not exactly what I was going for but to be honest it did turn out too bad it's not my favourite of my images I've done lately um, but it's not the worst I've done so I'm pretty in the middle with this one if you guys have ever like tried out this challenge and if you've ever uh, let me know what you think about ballpoint pens I mean essentially they can be like taken as a part of that cheap supply challenge because all you're using is your simple white paper in my instance this is the same white card that I use from my cheap supply challenge and these are the pens I bought I bought a pack of 12 for 30p so you can essentially see this as a part of your cheap supply challenge but I would say that ballpoint pens are really good for like really loose sketching and gesture work so if you are thinking of trying that out in your sketchbook um, I suppose the hardest thing, thing you can think about with this is that once you've laid that mark down you can't make it's and you've made a mistake that seems to be the it's there it's irreplaceable you can never change that and I, I suppose that can be quite daunting but at the same time it's good to see where your flaws lie like a lot of this I noticed that um, my face in this picture was quite skewed and a, quite a few of my proportions are off and this is because usually when I'm sketching out I will sketch out time and time again and I will keep on trying to perfect it until I get the proportions somewhat in the way that I like it um, but like there are proportional issues with this like her hand is too small her head is too big for her body and this is mistakes that once you've laid unfortunately once you've laid the marker down the pen down sorry the biro i'm getting confused here uh, once you've laid that down you can't change that and that can be quite scary but at the same time it's good to see where your mistakes lie and where you can improve on so if you do want to like try that out i like highly suggest you do because it is a lot of fun um and it's very different from any other medium that you would usually try so like 
instead of picking up a pencil to sketch try and sketch with your with a, just a cheap pen and just see what you can get out of it um and it is a lot of fun like, i can imagine like when you i do it all the time i used to do it all the time when i was at school i used to do like, my sketchbook um, and my notebooks and in the back of all of my old school books so it's just like loads of doodles in biro and it's sort of like a stigma a lot of people get that drawing with biro isn't very professional but at the same time it kind of it really is because you are essentially going straight in and the littlest mistake you can't rectify there's no way you can rectify that and that's the beauty of it and I like the effect you can get with this by either like laying down a lot of ink or just laying down very little ink uh, sorry Bella got right in the way that at this point <laughs> you just really wanted to chew on my pen but it's really interesting the effect that you can get with ballpoint pens and as I reiterated before and I'm gonna say it again I really want everyone to try out this one if you haven't already and if you have leave a link um, down below in the comments I'd love to see your work and as you guys know I get very excited about seeing other people's work um, so just a little note and disclaimer I do see all your comments and I appreciate every single one and I do apologise um, that I haven't been able to reply to every single one as of yet. Um, it's getting to the point where I'm receiving a lot of comments a day and I don't always have time to go on my computer to reply to them because it's very difficult to reply on my phone. So I do apologise. Um, I am going through and I do read every single comment and I will be replying to comments. So please don't think I'm being ignorant and forgetting about you. I really appreciate and I really love every single one of you and you are all amazing and I cannot thank you all for the support. Um, considering we're coming up so close to 10K already, it's ridiculous. I never thought I'd receive this kind of support with this channel and my work and I cannot thank you enough. You have made this entire journey a delight, really. Um, so as we're going through and I just finishing off the piece, um, just really coming to the end of it. Um, and yeah, <laughs> oh, what else can I say? <laughs> oh. So we, uh, <laughs> Bella coming from my pen lid again. Um, so I really am enjoying doing these little challenges and I want to know what you guys would like to see next. Uh, I've already done the Crayola challenge, the free market challenge, and um, I've already done the cheap supply challenge and just really want to know what you guys see. I do have a list of challenges I want to do and uh, what I'll probably do is I'll do a Twitter poll to see what you guys would like to see next month. If you guys ever have any suggestions for um, like fa uh, like maybe fan art or like a video you'd like me to do or if you ever want to see a tutorial or anything like that, please let me know. I am constantly wanting to hear what your your guys thought is about everything i just really really want to know and because you guys make this channel what it is so just giving you a few close-ups and as you can see a little of like cross hatching technique with this to try and create some shading which some worked and some didn't um it's definitely a technique that you i would like to work on a lot more i would love to work with ballpoint pens a lot more especially in my sketchbook so maybe you might see a few more in my next sketchbook tour I would like to thank you all so much for watching and if you guys like this video maybe leave a little like down in the like box down below if you want to see more content from me maybe if you want to subscribe I'm not saying you should <laughs> or if you ever want to talk about any artwork you've done or anything like that you know you can comment down below thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day stay creative